I'm having trouble with a former employee. He's trying to embarrass me. Oh. That's not important. I'm taking care of it. But I may not be able to handle things exactly as he wishes. It may require some money. I was beginning to think that you were growing allergic to my donations. I cashed your check. And again, thank you. But you need more. How much? 150,000. But it goes without saying that I would be tremendously indebted. It's done. And coincidentally, I have a favor to ask from you. I'm going to add another check. It'll be made out to a small private college in the area. I'd like you to create a research grant anonymously in that amount. Okay, what kind of research? Voter behavior, demographic pattern shifts in Farmington and elsewhere. I'll give you the specifics later. But all the information comes directly back to me. Yeah. Cruz wants to fund a study. Demographics, voter behavior, things like that. Why? Redistricting. You can manipulate the votes to get me, others elected. Let me see your map. These were the areas highlighted on the map in Aaron Borle's office. Cruz is the connection. These are all his developments. That's a uh, low income housing goes up next month. And that's uh, 8th Street Medical Center. This? Uh, office park for small businesses. Hell, with me in his pocket and my influence on the city council, he's going to be able to get contracts easier and expand. And how does Aaron Boles and his Mexican mob money play into all this? Uh, think globally. All right, the money is coming into the U.S. from the mob in Mexico. Anti-terrorism laws have made international money laundering much more difficult. So all their profit in Mexico, what do they do with it? The profit here, too hard to ship south. So what? The Mexican mob is buying up Farmington? Along with four or five other districts in LA. Legitimate businesses are the best front for organized crime. They can run prostitution out of low-income housing, sell illegal scripts out of the medical center. Jesus Christ. I gotta take a run at Aaron Bolet. His secretary said he had an important meet with a client tonight. Wait, wait, and risk tipping Pasuela off that you've turned on him? Well, that'll start a war, and we don't even know what army he's fighting with. You need patience. The review board doesn't go my way, and I'm out of here in three days. Vic, this thing can't come down in three days. This will take three years. And don't let them take my badge from me. You forget about our bullshit history already. Help me so I can stay and finish this. I was serious when I said I couldn't help. But listen, the, the, the board has three members. The senior member is Howard Gregson. Now, he, he has an autistic grandson. Dotes on him. He even serves on the board for Cure Autism now. Oh, you want me to bring my kids into this? Two autistic children. Okay, you're the breadwinner. They're doctors, therapists. You know, you, you say you're sorry for past transgressions, but that you, you want to change. You want me to put my two sick kids on display to use Megan and Matthew? Well, maybe you sway Gregson. And maybe he sways a second vote. I know, it's 20 to 1. 